Welcome back to Jersey Matters. April is National Donate Life Month. What does that mean? Well, here to explain it is Joe Roth, CEO of New Jersey Organ and Tissue Sharing Network. So thank you for coming in. Thank you, Larry. What does that mean? National Donate Life Month is, uh, uh, the month of April is designated since 2003 for or, or organizations like the New Jersey Sharing Network around the country to make it more uh, uh, visible to become an organ donor and how organ donation helps save lives. And, and exactly how do you make it more visible? I, I, do you reach out to those who have, uh, who have received organs? Do you reach out to, to, to people that this affects in some way to talk more about it? Well, we actually reach out to the entire community in the state of New Jersey, and we do it a lot of different ways. Uh, there are events happening almost every day during April. Uh, one of the biggest is our walk at Bergen Community College um, on April 24th. Uh, we have a 5K walk run up there, which is a way of um, getting more awareness out about organ donation. And we, we also usually have guests. Last year we had Lieutenant Governor Kim Godano walk with us for five, 5K for 3.1 miles. Um, we had local politicians and also we have families who have been affected by both organ donation and organ transplantation to tell their stories to the assembled people at the, at the walk. And that's what I was getting at. When I said, do you reach out to people that have received organs? Because I would believe that that is the most powerful advocate you can Absolutely. possibly have. Absolutely. Uh, end stage organ failure, uh, the only way you can stop it and save anybody is with a transplant. There are no artificial organs yet that we can use to save people. Yeah, you can do it temporarily, but you can't stay on them forever. So a solid organ transplant from an, an organ donor is the only way that a person can survive end stage organ failure. How, how are we doing both in New Jersey and across the country when it comes to registering to be an organ donor? Well, both nationally and locally, it was a record year last year in terms of the number of people transplanted. Uh, in New Jersey, the Sharing Network had its all-time record year of 531 organs transplanted, which was a 37% increase over the year before. Uh, nationally, we finally broke the 30,000 barrier in terms of number of transplants. So something's going right out there. We are working the system better. People are becoming more aware of organ donation and are making their wishes known to their families or through uh, donor registries like the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission or the Donate Life America National Organ Donor Registry. Have you done research on it, on why people don't register, why people don't want to donate their organs? Well, there's a lot of myths and misconceptions, uh, urban legends, so to speak, about what would happen if you became an organ donor. Uh, one of the earliest ones is uh, the one that if you come to an emergency room and you've had a severe accident and they know you're an organ donor, they won't treat you to survive. That doesn't happen. Uh, the doctors don't even know you're going to be an organ donor when you arrive at the ER. It's something we find out much later down the road if the injury is non-survivable. There are other myths. I mean, people are afraid of the, of, of the unknown. So I'm alive and healthy, and I'm asking you to sign up to be an organ donor. It kind of makes you think about your ultimate uh, end result is, is, you know, death is not something we think about every day, but something tragic happens to you, and um, you, it's a non-survivable injury, and there's some good that can come out of it. Organ donation is a tremendous way to do that. And we can register just about anywhere nowadays, right? I mean, when you go to get your driver's license, you can register. You can do that, but the easiest way to do it is to go to our website, www.njsharingnetwork.org, uh, uh, www and there's a, a button up there that says become a donor, and you, and you Click on that button and it'll walk you through the process. And you know what an easy way to is to Google NJ Sharing Network and then you'll take you right to it. Absolutely. When you go to that site, uh, I assume you can get more information and you can also learn about the 5K? Everything. It's all there. What's uh, the date on the 5K again? Uh, April 24th for the Bergen County one. We have two more actually uh, during the year, one in June at our site in New Providence. And this year we're going to be in Lincroft, right, not too far from here at Brookdale College for our third 5K of the year. So. And the thing is, we should all be involved in this because I think people look at themselves all the time as possible organ donors. They don't look at themselves as possible organ receivers. That's correct. And that is probably the most important part of the relationship. And you'd be surprised how fast someone's attitude changes when they find out they need an organ. It, they, they become very uh, um, focused on donation. So. Or someone they love. Right. All we ask is that 
people tell their family what their decision is, even if they haven't signed up on the Motor Vehicle Registry or the Donate Life America Registry. Let someone know, because if the family comes to the hospital and they know that the injury is non-survivable, at least they know what your wishes are. All right, Joe, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, you for Mark. coming in. Joe Roth, the CEO of the New Jersey Organ and Tissue Sharing Network. If you haven't registered, this is the month to do it. I'm Larry Menti. That wraps it up for Jersey Matters this week. Stick around now for another thing.